Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your mid-monthly forecast horoscope for now until the end of September. And this is gonna cover love, wealth, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help you with your situation. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Also, my beautiful darlings, if you're interested in a live personal reading with me, you can go to my website, and it's right here, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And if you guys are interested in taking my mentorship class, I have been reading Tarot since I've been 14 years old, so I got a lot to teach you guys. So if you're interested in taking a class with me, or more or less, it's gonna be six classes altogether. All the information is in the description box below. All right, so we're gonna talk about love first, then we're gonna talk about um, career and finance, and then we're gonna talk about what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that can help you with your situation. And again, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both, let's jump right in. All right, so what's gonna have my Sagittarius is romantic love life. Give me nine cards to my Sagittarius is romantic love life. Give me nine cards to my Sagittarius's career and finance for the month for now until the end of September. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. I get the sense that there's someone that feels like they lost you and they only see that now that they've lost you and that they're they're regretting the decision. Okay, um, let's see what the bottom of the deck is, yeah. There's someone who is trapped in their thoughts, I feel like their hands are tied. Like other people may have been involved with this, or maybe like a, a, a just circumstances of life, right? We've got this trapped kind of energy going on. So let's keep going here. Um, the first card is this very uh, contemplative kind of card, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We see that there is this person that is really hiding behind a situation, but realizing there's some kind of value and worth. And something has grown here out of this, something of worth and value. Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long-term, and uh, a sense of stability here. Um, there could be a patient energy, a lot of contemplation about the long-term with the, the Queen of Pentacles. Could be representing a person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, let's just see. What's gonna have my Sagittarius romantic love life? Give me nine cards, my Sagittarius is romantic love life. Give me nine cards, my Sagittarius is career and finance now until the end of September. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's see here. So it looks like someone could be traveling to you. There could be a distant energy. Okay, this card right here can represent far away, distant travel. Um, it could represent um, either a distance, far distance, or it could represent like a, you know, like a mental distance, but there's a distant energy here or far away energy. Let's go further. What's gonna have my Sagittarius is romantic love life now until the end of September? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. You're about to be happy though. There is a happy outcome that's about to happen here. Let's use this deck over here. What's gonna have my Sagittarius is romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Sagittarius is romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Sagittarius is career and finance for now until the end of September. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Someone has been, been patient, they've been waiting. There has been this sense of wisdom gained here. Uh, there's about to be a happy outcome here. Oh yeah, look at that, 10 of cups is coming out. There's a happy outcome coming out, complete emotional fulfillment here with the 10 of cups energy, long term, long term complete emotional fulfillment, okay? So remember that the when you talk about the major arcana, you got the world card energy. That's accomplishment, completion, achievement. There's a sense of achievement here. There's something accomplished here. There's something being completed here emotionally. You're receiving some kind of positive turn of events when it comes to sense of confusion because of this travel movement or change. We see work effort is being put into this situation. We see something about money and finance and this person from before. 
when it comes to this loss. So there's a loss of distance, a loss of travel. So you read, I've gained some kind of wisdom. I know you're the wisest decision for me. I've been patient here. We see this travel movement and change. There's a, there's a loss of travel, movement, or change. So there could have been a distance, a faraway energy. Now that's been taken away. We see there's a happy outcome here. We see there's a sense of confusion about this person from the past, this situation from the past, this person from before. We see that there's travel, movement, or change. We see receiving some positive turn of events because of something to do with work, money, or finance. So it looks to me, because what I, I feel like, okay, so far, is that you are dealing with a person who um, you were possibly dating, uh, there was some kind of connection there. Now, I'm not saying that you were with that person from before, but this is somebody you've known from before, but there was a reason why you guys had kind of broken apart, and it was a lack of appreciation from that person. And that person realized once there was a distance and a loss in this connection, they had realized, Sagittarius, that, wow, I can't believe I've lost them. And now there's a realization within them. They're like, they, they just, they just realized that they lost someone who was the best decision for them. So that's what I feel so far. So let's keep going. Yeah, we see some fast movement here, Knight of Swords energy. And we see friendship and going further. Cautiousness about it. Offering friendship, cautiousness. And we see, look at that. It's saying to me that this is like, now I'm going in the right direction. Now I'm on the right path. This is destiny. And we see you're very attractive. Sagittarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. You are very sexy, very attractive. So you could be selective of what you want with that card. We see that there is a happy energy, a joyful energy coming in for you guys. And going further here. Yep, lots of chemistry and passion. Especially around this party that you're going to go to or this celebration that you're going to, all right? Like a lot of people are noticing you, okay? You're going to be noticing you. There's definitely a healing energy coming in as well. Let's just also go further. Yeah, an abundance of direction. And we see that you guys are possibly avoiding a situation, not wanting to deal with a situation here with the Eight of Cups. But then this massive change happens. And we go further, it's very healing. Someone wants to heal or fix a relationship, a soulmate connection, wants to be together in a relationship shows love and affection and that you guys are on the same page so looks like there was this patient energy in this situation and there was some distance that was taken away and now it's like i'm on the right path and there's an abundance of love coming in for you so let's keep going so you're kind of debating should i take a risk a leap of faith here full card energy because i saw what the signs were you know do I just go for this situation? I know that there's other opportunities here, but should I just go for this situation? So it's like you're getting some advice or help because you're at a crossroads about what to do. And then Sagittarius, you're like, all right, but this is very stable. There's something about house, home, stability here coming in. Page of Swords shows me, am I being naive about this? Am I seeing this the right way? Uh, it's like a new understanding, new perspective, but I do feel like there's like a lot of possible negative thoughts around it or negative people. Because it's like, I don't want to be used. And we see friends around this situation and we see you definitely uh, are, there are people here that, or a person in particular that is definitely looking at you and trying to get your attention. So. I feel like you're at a crossroads also, or this person also. This is more of a complex situation. There's a person coming in that didn't appreciate you at first, now is coming back to heal this connection. But then I also feel like there's another person that's a friend who's interested in you and maybe negative talking to the other person because they're trying to get your attention. 
Mm, interesting. Okay. You guys can let me know in the comments below. All right. All right. Um, but definitely by the end of the month, you guys are in a happy place, joyful place, enjoying the moment, just seeing the, these signs. And uh, I feel like there's a very nurturing, supportive energy here. Yep. There's a commitment to happiness. And we see family long term and um, someone from the past there. Memories of the past. Okay. So. Okay, so there is a sense of wisdom. We see this um, loss of distance, and we see uh, moving in the right direction, abundance of love, relationship, house and family, home. We see there's some sly slick energy because of some things to do with from before. So someone's doing some sly slick, treacherous things. That, uh, actually, the card meeting for this deck here is treachery because um, I feel like there's someone who's really interested in you, okay? but they don't like the fact that this past person's coming along, maybe taking away their thunder there. Okay, so, and it could be a, in a friendship circle there, or it, it also, they also could be teaming up with a family member as well. You guys can let me know in the comments below. I know that's only a specific uh, for some of you guys. Okay, so I don't, I, I don't like to put that kind of negativity around readings, but um, just have to call what I see here. Um, Okay, so we see there's a happy energy, defensive cautiousness, and we see some indecisions and some confusions. We see strong chemistry and passion with this friend. And we see this ex-partner healing uh, family conflict long-term. So very straightforward, you see that? There is this strong chemistry and passion with a person who's a friend, right? And that's the reason also why there may be this sense of, oh man, I'm really jealous of that situation. Okay, we see travel, movement, change. We see a friendship, giving some advice. See, there's a friend giving advice. We see receiving something of value. We see celebration, joyful energy, concern for being used when it comes to money. We see massive change towards a commitment. So there were some issues around that situation, possibly because of money and finance, or someone was like, you know, you don't want to get, you don't want to get used for this situation. You know, you don't know if they're just into you because of the money situation or whatever, but they're, they're going to put some negativity around it. All right. So just be careful for some of you guys. I'm just saying, I'm not saying that's all of you. We see that there is some advice being given all of a sudden you're like, should I take a risk? There's a complete emotional happiness, but you're very attractive. And we're like, there's a sense of, I don't know if I'm being naive. And it's like, should I put work and effort to walk away from my happiness? Sun card energy. Okay, I'm gonna get you guys some advice. All right. So what should Sagittarius do when it comes to romantic love life for the highest best good for the best possible outcome for them now until the end of September? Show me the cards they need to see. Show me the cards they need. Two, seven. Okay, so Sagittarius, what should you do? Surrender. Okay. So, being cognizant of what you talk about, what you say, and surrendering to that. Just be the best version of yourself, okay? You can accept this situation and give this person the benefit of the doubt. But remember, you are a good catch. As I said, you have options here. And you, that's why you're also looking back, like, should I go for it? It's like you're kind of like turning around, like, I have all these opportunities here, all these things that, all these people that, these choices, options. So you could give this person the benefit of the doubt and accept this, this offer, or you could say, okay, well, I'm a good catch, and maybe I'm, you know, I, I know I have options here. So it's saying, there is definitely a sense of compromise and solidity around this situation, but you're fully supported, right? You have a lot of support. It's saying that there's a sense of reliability and being vulnerable in your feelings and having a sense of thoughtfulness, right? So it's like you're going to hear this person let you know that about what's really going on with them, and they're really going to let you know that you know their feelings about their true feelings with this situation. It's saying you can wait and see, give it some time, see how things play out. But note that this situation is icing on the cake. It doesn't make you whole, a whole person. And uh, when it comes to this commitment, right? So, yeah, like, if you want to just see where it goes, then say, okay, well, you know, I'll come back together with this person and I'll give it, like, three to six months. And then I'll see, okay, 
Are they acting the same way they acted before? Are they, have they really changed? Are they really serious about this commitment? And just give it a time period. And after that time period, if you assess it and say, okay, well, it's not exactly what I expected. And yes, they have kind of doing the same kind of behaviors. Then you know, well, then it's time for me to move on and not give this person another chance again. So it's completely up to you guys though, okay? So always follow your heart, listen to your intuition. You guys know what's best for you. All right, let's talk about your career in finance. So you got this opportunity, this offer, this potential situation that you feel like you really love. And uh, it could be to do with travel for some of you guys or something to do with uh, the fact that you're going to be in charge, you know, you're gonna have a sense of uh, victory, willpower, and a sense of direction here with this. So there's a lot of contemplation about what do I do here? You know, do I accept this, do not accept this? Uh, maybe I need to contemplate this a little bit longer. Maybe I need to be patient. Maybe I need to figure this out. Okay, so let's see what that's about. Okay, so, so this offer is coming in from something that you did from before. And we see this victory, this loyalty, this devotion of the main person. So someone's like, you're really great with this, you know, and you know, I've seen you do this before and you know, I'd really like to put you on this project or bring you onto my team or this, it's an offer presenting itself to you. You're a little bit overwhelmed actually and a bit shocked and surprised because you're like, well, yeah, I really, I did kind of, uh, you know, I do kind of want to like, deal with some of these things I dealt with before, or resolve this situation. So Seven of Pentacles is like, I'm gonna give it some time. I, 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 I see some things growing here, but I know that there is some kind of competition or some issues around this. And I really want success and happiness here. So I better speak to them about this so that, you know, these other uh, people around this are just going to move away from it so I can just give them my undivided attention for this. We see this letter, message, document, paperwork. And we see being very strategic about this. And we see that, yeah, Five of Wands talks about frustration, anger, a competition, okay, fighting for something. To, uh, and, I, and I do feel like you're trying to hold something back because you, you really want this. I, I get the sense that you really want this. And you're concerned if, I, if, I, if you turn it down, then you know there's a lot of people looking to get this opportunity, but you're just like, okay, well, I better take the steps. If I'm really interested in this, I better take the steps to kind of put a halt on that so that there can be restrictions to other people because this is a really lucky situation for me. And we're seeing hopeful signs by the end of the month, star card energy. And yes, your intuition is definitely, you're seeing some good spiritual signs here. But there are some issues here you're trying to resolve. Because we see travel, movement, change, a sense of accomplishment here, work hard energy. And it looks like there could be a meeting, okay, or an interview coming up by the end of the month there. But you're concerned about some disappointments or you're concerned that you may be disappointed somehow. Okay, so you're like, oh God, how's this gonna play out? <laughs> there is strong desires, temptations, or overthinking going on by the end of the month. But th definitely luck is on your side. Things are going your favor. We've got the Wheel of Fortune kind of energy. And this is exactly what you want, Nine of Cups. So I, I get the sense that you're getting that place of self-doubt about the situation when the meeting goes down, when the interview goes down. But it's like, yes, I'm gonna get what I want. You know, I wanna fill my desires here. And I don't, I don't wanna be disappointed here. Okay, so there is this overwhelming energy and a sense of happiness and some issues and the massive shock and surprise of some slice like energies and concerns of disappointment and regrets. But we see lucky situation, lucky timing and fulfillment of desires, wishes. All right, so go further. All right, so we got this situation from before okay we have this competition this issue and we see your intuition and some loyalty and devotion we see letter message document paperwork we see a meeting we see an interview we see main person restrictions boundaries scheduling cautiousness 
but the timing is right. Wheel of Fortune energy, okay? So the timing is aligning for you guys. The timing is lining up. Okay, so we got this offer, this potential here that you really love, and there has been this waiting around, and there's hopeful signs around this. There's this travel, this change, this victory, and a, a truth being spoken about, the sense of accomplishment. We see something to do with this Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, could be the competition, which is making you overthink some things. Double card energy. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Sagittarius? When it comes to their career and finance for the highest, best good, for the best offer for them now until the end of September, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there is other people around, right? There's other competition, but you're front and center, and uh, you got to know your value and your worth, so stay confident. Yeah, you are definitely moving in the direction towards prosperity. Just keep following that. Yeah, something is going to go in your favor. Something's going to come to light. You're going to start to see some miracles here, some signs of it, right? Something will grow here in this situation. Just got to be patient. Okay, so just be patient at this time. All right, so let's find out what you need to know spiritually, Sagittarius, that you don't know that need to know to help you. So what does Sagittarius need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know that could help them? Now until the end of September, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see here, Sagittarius. Okay, so we got this card of an old pattern is finally ending. You are going to be lifted from your struggle and freed from this weight of the past. You have learned all you needed to learn and now it's time for relief and release and divine protection and happiness of a healed heart and a peaceful soul. So I would say that from now until the end of September, look at some of the old patterns in your life and release some of the energies that don't serve you anymore, right? Some of the old energy patterns. You know how we get into those places of we reminisce, we look back and we, we regret things, we feel sad about things. I want you to stop yourself and say, you know what? I send love to that and I let it go and I release and heal that energy within you. Move past those old energy patterns that you've been dealing with. Okay, so Going further, it's saying that you have this creative energy and spiritual light within you. And it is talking to you about using that creative force to manifest. So remember, when you forgive, you remove energy blockages. And creativity helps you to manifest. Okay? Try it, guys. I'm telling you, it works. So let's say you want to manifest something. Try drawing, painting, writing, creative drawing, painting, writing, dancing. Those creative things actually free up the energy flow and you're focused intently on what you want to manifest while you're doing those things. You may be playing music at the same time that correlates to that manifestation. So let's keep going here. And it's definitely telling you that you're very lucky and that you have prosperity coming towards you. So get ready for that. All right, my beautiful Sagittariuses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. As I always tell you guys, here is guidance. You have free will. You know what's best for you. Follow your heart. Listen to your intuition. You know what's best for you. And yes, I do read my comments, guys. So I do love hearing from you guys in the comments below. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys another day or two.